information on business consulting processes. What I'm going to do here is share a number of things which if you run a consulting team, if you're about to start your own business consulting business, or if you run your own consulting firm, um, these are activities which you should probably have very well documented so that you can constantly optimize them, learn from them, and use these processes to show your clients how efficient you are, and then also to show new team members how you complete projects and internal operations in a very effective manner. And that way it's very easy to train a new person and it's very easy to communicate what's expected of them. So first off, documenting um, how you gather leads for your business is very important. If you use pay-per-click to gather leads and you combine that with email follow-up, if you use um, AWeber email marketing system, if you use postcards, if you use newsletters uh, in the mail, it's important to document how those things get created, how they get updated, who's responsible for doing that, how much it costs, and how you manage the budget around that. There should be at least a one-page flowchart or Word document for each of these processes that we're mentioning. Another process that should be documented um, are potential client proposals. As a business consultant, you'll probably send out three to seven proposals for every one project that you secure. Um, it's going to be different depending on the industry that you work in, but many times it's send out proposals and you won't hear back for a long time. So it's important to have a process for completing a proposal, checking the quality of that proposal, archiving that proposal, following up on that proposal, and then trying to close on that proposal. And there's all these different activities that you can do to optimize that process that's going to lead to maybe getting two proposals out of every five instead of one, or it's going to lead to spending less money um, submitting those proposals, or it's just going to lead to a much higher quality proposal overall and a better brand image um, for your business consulting firm. The next thing that should be documented um, is your new client management and initiation activities. When you start with a new client, it's important to negotiate a contract, define the scope, get introduced to the team, figure out if you're going to be working in office or out of your own office, figure out what the uh, milestones are going to be along the way and what the end deliverable will be and how the project will be wrapped up and information or knowledge will be transferred back to the company or client. Uh, this is very important and can be relatively complex and so if you are running your own firm or you're ahead of a team, this is something really important to document. Um, the next thing that should be documented um, as a process is your invoicing and billing processes. Um, exactly when do you do it, how do you do it, what templates do you use, where are those located, um, you know, how are they formatted, and all of the rules and policies for following up for unpaid invoices um, or bills is very important. Uh, this might seem um, trivial, especially if you're only in charge of delivering the value and you're not running the consulting firm yourself, but it is very important to do if you're responsible for managing the overall business consulting firm because things can quickly get confused, disorganized, and lost, and a five or $20,000 bill could get lost in the shuffle as your company grows, and just documenting these processes up front and constantly improving them and sharing them with other people on the team can prevent that. Um, another thing to document um, that is important to marketing your business consulting services is your PR and marketing and authoritative building plan overall. So for example, how is your business consulting firm going to be seen as the authoritative firm in your specific niche or industry? You can do this by documenting the process to write a book, documenting your process for releasing press releases, documenting your process to develop a web presence, um, or it could just be documenting your process for upkeeping whatever authority position the principles of your firm already maintain. Uh, whatever it is, it should be documented so that it can be, again, clearly communicated to other people and improved over time. So I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I've just shared many different processes and things within your business consulting firm that should be documented. Once they're documented, um, it's great to share these on a central server at your place of work or on a knowledge repository tool such as a backpack. And um, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, this is uh, businesstraining.com where you can double your qualifications and boost your compensation.